today we're going to talk a little bit about treating scratches. Oh, I treated them yesterday, so we have a little bit of the scratches still here. And he does get a little bit of a urine scald as well on the front of his hind cannons. You can see a little bit of that there, so I'll show you how to treat that as well. So the scratches feel like little scabs that show up. He gets these usually if it's raining outside or if he's standing in tall grass. And then, um, you know, when he comes inside, it takes him a little while to dry. And so I'll show you what I use to treat this. So first I'm going to hose him down and make sure that his legs are nice and wet. Here's the two items that I use to treat Vino when he gets scratches. The first is Microtech, which you see here. Microtech is a special shampoo that is for horses with skin problems. And then to the right, you can see Coat Defense, which is a paste or a cream that we'll put on after his legs have a chance to dry. So with the Microtech, I just take a little tiny bit on my hand like that. His leg is already wet. Just take a little bit on the other hand, whoa, well, you know. And then what I'm going to do is go where the scratches are and just rub it in. There's already water there, so you can see it working up a lather. So I'm not putting a large amount on, it's just a little bit. And you wanna use just a little bit because this is actually a really expensive uh, shampoo. Well, the scratches are on the inside here, so I'll do that part next. Just dab a little bit of the soap, and then you can see I'm working it up into a little lather. And after I work it up into the little lather, I let it sit on his leg for just a couple minutes. And then he's got a little bit on the inside here. Okay, you can stop. A lot of people have had great success with MTG and it's a wonderful product, but it is also oil-based. And one of the things that does not get along well with Vino is oil-based products just because he tends to roll in the dirt. And one of the things about treating scratches that's extremely important is keeping the area clean. And if we're constantly attracting dirt to it, it's almost impossible for us to do that. And that's why I stick with the Microtech product and then the coat defense, which I'll show you momentarily. All right, so now we're just going to rinse it off. Again, I didn't use a lot, so you're not going to see a lot rinse off. I'm going to make sure I remove all of the soap. And make sure that you do a good job rinsing. I'm going to just go to the other side and we'll make sure we get all of this off. So again, scratches just feel like little scabs. The horses will get it during the rainy season. We've had a lot of rain just because we've had outer bands from the hurricane coming up here through Georgia. Going to dry his legs. I love to take old bath towels that maybe got bleached or destroyed at home that were once nice and use them in the barn because they're usually more plush than buying cheap towels for the barn. And this is no exception. This is a nice thick towel. The reason I want to use a thick towel is that it's going to absorb the moisture that's on his legs. Flipping this over my shoulder so that it doesn't fall in the water. And then we're just going to use the towel to dry his legs and absorb as much of that water as possible. It's going to allow his leg to dry a little bit faster. I do have fans on and then we'll also take him outside for a little graze so that we have a chance to let the leg dry because the next step, putting on the coat defense, should only be done once the leg is dry. So right now we're hand grazing Dino and we're getting those legs nice and dry. I did the towel dry first, but now we're letting uh, Dr. Sun do a little bit of work and then letting him graze too. Coat defense came across my Facebook page in an ad and then I received a little bit of coat defense powder in uh, Cavalli Club kit and I found it works really well. So I went to the tack shop and I got the paste. That's what it looks like. And what this is, is basically a drying salve. It's going to dry out the scratches so the horse can heal. And it does this pretty quickly. I've actually had some overnight success with it. I always wear gloves. My fingers are extremely sensitive. So you probably notice I also use gloves when I was applying the Microtech. It's just because I have extremely 
sensitive skin. So I'm going to just take a little bit of the salve. I feel for where the rain scald or the scratches are. And again, this works on rain scald or scratches. You can see the little dots. And then what I'm going to do is just put this coat defense on it in a thin layer. And it basically makes a drying salve and it just dries that area out and allows it to be treated. So we'll do that wherever I feel the scratches. So again, I just run my finger down and apply it. It's expensive. All of these horse uh, treatments and shampoos and things are. I know a lot of people will buy over-the-counter product for horses. I try not to do that because uh, with my sister being a vet, she has explained to me that equine products are pH balanced for horses. And that is why it's so important to use products that are designed for use on horses. Okay, anywhere where I feel the scratches. And then again, on the urine scald that he has on the front. And then that just stays on overnight. It will dry. It can stay on for as long as it stays on naturally. Uh, you can also remove it. Uh, but I do replace it to continue to allow it to draw out the area that's impacted by the scratches. And honestly, within usually 24 to 48 hours, they're all gone. All right, if you're wondering how much this all costs, Microtech is approximately $25 for the bottle, and the coat defense is about $40. Now, I know that sounds expensive, but you're only going to use a tiny amount of these products as I just demonstrated. I do not use Microtech shampoo for Vino's general coat washing, and you can see he is black and gorgeous. And in another episode, I'll tell you how I generally bathe him and what I do to keep him looking this way and what the barn does to also um, put him on a nutritional diet to help him look this way. So stay tuned for more as we continue to share horse tips and product reviews and exploits from my various equine pursuits.